Jaya! The topic for this video is stop domesticating your lover, set them free instead. This is a fascinating topic because in the context of relating sex life, romantic connections, very often what we tend to do is we start with this beauty, with this raw fire, with this erotic energy. We get together, we are in the state of freedom and openness. And then in the process of growing as a couple, growing as lovers, we start very often domesticating each other. We start building frames about what is going to create safety and what is going to lock us in within frames that are predictable. And what happens in the process of doing that is that we lose touch with the original essence, the spontaneity, the impulsiveness, the raw fire, the passion, the energy. You know, all these straight lines that we tend to create in our lives, and especially in relationships and love life, then eventually contract us and lock our life force within very predictable frames. And in the process of doing that, we create a system that becomes a little bit boring. It's too predictable. All the freedom, all the space, all the spontaneity, all the energy tends to be locked and contracted within practicals, practical and safe frames. So I'm not saying that a little bit of feedback and a little bit of direction is not useful for your relationship. It's possible that a, a simple shift in behaviors is going to create safety within your couple. And that's fine. A little bit of it is useful. But you want to encourage freedom. You want to encourage space. You want to encourage spontaneity. Otherwise, passion is going to die out really fast. And within a few years of being together, what is going to happen is like you're going to get bored. It's going to get too predictable. So to encourage the wild side, to encourage the spontaneity, to encourage the freedom is an essential skill. It's an essential talent. When you see your partner doing something that is unusual, that stretches you, that breaks with the patterns or stretches your comfort zone, then encourage them to do so. Oh, thanks for challenging me there. It feels good. It pushes my buttons. It challenges me. It triggers me. Thank you for doing that. It expands me. It expands my emotional freedom, my emotional ability, my emotional flexibility. And so this is what I encourage you to check. Right now, if you are in a relationship, if you have a lover in your life, what is the message that you are sending out? Are you trying to lock them within frames that basically contract them? Are you trying to open space around them? I love you. I want you to be free. I want you to be open. My security, my stability doesn't depend on what you do or don't do. My stability, my force, my security, my trust in myself is way stronger and this is where I find my strength. It doesn't depend on the external factors that you are generating around me. So this is the first place where you find security, where you find power. So get it, you know, simply express it. Simply realize that in the frames of what you are creating, you can create spaciousness, you can create freedom, you can create spontaneity, you can be a sponsor of your lover's freedom instead of locking them in within the contracted frames that are going to feel safe to you. And, um, you know, try to, to feel it for yourself. Like, what is the impact when your lover comes and he's trying, to, he's trying to lock you within frames, within projections? If you want to be my lover, here are five things or the things that I want you to do or how I want you to behave. This is okay. This is not okay. You know, what is this domestication process? Is it useful to anybody? You know, check in. See it for yourself. This is just an invitation for you to um, look at the possibility of expanding each other's freedom. And um, my belief is that the best relationship, the best love life, the best sex life in, is when there is ultimate freedom, when there is a complete removal of control patterns on each other. You remove all the control patterns, what tends to happen is that, that's it. I trust you. 
I trust that you will make choices that are going to be in alignment with your spirit. And I trust that by doing that, it's going to be in service to us. It's a powerful statement of trust. It's a powerful statement of freedom and openness. And it takes lots of courage to go there. I don't see many people being able to do it, but if you are inspired to try it out, I encourage you to go for it. You go like, you know what? There is no part of me that is going to try to control you or lock you in. I am going to open space around you, be okay with whatever your choices are, and sponsor that inside of you. Ultimate freedom. Try it out and let me see. Uh, let, yeah, tell me how it goes. I love you.